Hi, I'm Dr. Vali from LMS Wellness. Welcome to Bazaar Beauty. I'm going to talk to you about all things cosmetic dermatology and medical wellness. In terms of fillers and injecting your face or your body, there's several different types of fillers. We have something called reversible fillers, which are completely safe to use, such as hyaluronic acid. Then we have semi-permanent fillers, such as calcium hydroxyapatite or Sculpture. And then we have permanent fillers, such as fat transfer. Now, if you've never done anything, I would stay on this side of the spectrum. Using hyaluronic acid is a natural way in terms of contouring or augmenting certain features on your face or your body. Hyaluronic acid itself is a natural sugar. It's found in every single cell, so there's nothing to worry about. You have to ensure that whatever is being injected in your face, you know the name of the product, you know that it's FDA approved or CE kite mark, and you know that it's been tried and tested several times. I typically have that patient that comes in and says, Dr. Vali, I promised you I only went there once. Like I didn't do it again and suddenly it's growing or it's becoming so hard or there's lumps and it's been a year ago. Or like it was great when it was first injected and now my cheekbones are growing and I'm not sure what's happening. It's because the product that you used in your bone or your skin or to contour your face or to contour or volumize your lips is reacting with your skin tissue or your tissue later. And that's why you need to use a safe product that's reversible first. They always say fat transfer is great because using your own fat and contouring your body and putting it in a place where there's depletion or loss of fat is great because your body should not ideally fight your own fat. However, in large areas, fat transfer is great for the gluteal area, or for the breast area, but in small areas, such as underneath the eye, the fat pads right here to make you look a lot fresher and to make you look a little bit more contoured, it doesn't resorb symmetrically. Your body does fight it. So what you find in about 12 to 18 months is one side is a lot flatter than the other and you have to keep topping up or you find that your body is actually fighting it in these high pressured areas and it starts to nodulate or become lumpy. So I would say to you, avoid fat transfer in your face, stick to the hyaluronic acid. If you need a little bit of lifting, go down the semi-permanent route and your doctor should be able to advise you. Also make sure you've seen your doctor's work previously so you understand exactly what his aesthetic eye is. The other thing you need to be aware of is that each brand such as Juvederm, Tearcell, Restylane, etc. They all have different types of fillers. Now, just because you've been injected by, with Juvederm doesn't mean it will suit your face correctly as your friend was injected. Really take note when some doctor is coming towards you with a needle and a product that's going inside your face. It's a foreign body going inside your face. Really know what the product is and really ensure that the doctor knows that it will suit your skin typing, your aging, your skin laxity, and your ethnicity as well because you don't want to look like everyone else.